Microneedling, also known as collagen-induced treatment, is one of the newer trends in skincare. A process of pricking the skin with fine acupuncture-like needles in order to stimulate the skin's natural healing process. According to Dr. Jorge Lopez Granja, dermatologist, he decided to offer the treatment at his clinic because he feels that many of his patients would benefit. I treat a lot of patients, for example, with acne. And then uh, once that treatment has succeeded and, and, and the acne is under control, then um, I was left sort of, okay, what, how do I help my patients, for example, with the scars? So this treatment works really well for that. It's a fact that it helps to rejuvenate skin. It's a fact that it helps uh, soften scars. Uh, not only acne scars, but uh, chicken pox scars, for example, any type of scar really, right? Um, it's a fact that it helps with hair loss, specific type of hair loss, right? Um, and it's a fact that it helps with stretch marks. And it's actually one of the few things that we know, and, and there, are, there is research that has shown that it works with stretch marks. It's not a new treatment, but it is becoming more popular since several published studies have found that when applied by a doctor, microneedling is effective against scars. It's really not such a new idea. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, uh, it started with, with the manual derma rollers in the late 90s, mm -hmm. you know, so um, I, I really don't like trying new, new, new stuff. You know, I, I rather uh, try something that has proven to be effective. So I thought, you know, there's enough evidence uh, for this. So I, I know it works. This here is the device and this is specifically the one that's called MicroPen. Mm -hmm. So the idea is a machine and you sort of attach this sterile head to it. Okay. Of course we use a separate one for each patient and the trick lies right here. I don't know if you could see it. It's 12 tiny needles. The way it works is each of these needles go and create a little puncture, a little hole in the skin. And the way that wound uh, is interpreted is I, for, from the skin's point of view, I need to repair myself. So it actually triggers a whole cascade of uh, tissue that has to be uh, um, replaced or rejuvenated. So that, that's how new collagen is to be formed. Now, um, usually patients would see the first um, improvement in about five to seven days. Why? Because it's at that point that one of the collagen, collagen uh, three, is starting to become collagen one. So you, you might have, you, you probably will see like a smoothness on your skin, maybe a little tightening even. And the thing with this is that, say you do one session, you will probably see the full benefits of it after Three months. With scars, the way it helps is because when you insert these needles into the scar, you sort of go under the scar tissue where the skin is still normal. And this signal here will make that the repairs in the tiny little holes have effect like if it's just new skin. One session can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. The recovery time is also minimal the downtime also is very short. Usually, you know, you do the treatment, say you want to rejuvenate your face, mm -hmm. you come here on a Friday and by Monday, you know, the redness, a little bit of swelling that you might have had for the mm -hmm. first day, then it's gone. You have to have realistic expectations. Mm -hmm. In terms of, uh, yes, there's going to be an improvement, but uh, it's not a facelift. You understand me? If, if, if your skin has a type four uh, uh, aging, so to speak, the best thing to do is a, a facelift and then you do this to improve the quality of the skin, mm -hmm. right? But you cannot expect this, for example, to work on skin that is too saggy. It will improve the texture, but, but the sagginess will not go away. One session costs 250 Belize dollars. For scar treatment, multiple sessions will be required and if you're seeking rejuvenation, then you can expect less sessions. And what about the pain? 
I would say it's a little bit uncomfortable. I've done it on myself on, on this car here okay. to try it without anesthesia, and I would say maybe a 2 or a 3 out of 10. And I'm kind of a chicken for pain, so I, I think it's, it, it's not really that bad. The main reason for this is was thinking on uh, about my patients with acne, usually younger, you know, and then, okay, you know, acne is under control, but what now? And maybe dark skin, so n not chemical peels wouldn't be an option. Um, laser, not really an option. So that, that I would say that, that was my motivation, and, and so far it's being my, my greatest reward, you know, to see, to see that I'm, you know, sort of completing the loop, not only helping with the active acne, but also, okay, with, with the uh, consequences of acne. No? There is one condition, though, for this and any other dermatology treatment. No matter what we do, what procedure we do to rejuvenate, if you're not using sunscreen, mm -hmm. you're basically wasting your money. Why? Because in, in the aging process, mm -hmm. say I have 10 uh, wrinkles, mm -hmm. eight of those wrinkles are because of sun damage and two are because of me getting older. Mm -hmm. So that's how important it is. In order for this or any other treatment to be effective and for those um, for the improvement to actually continue to use sunscreen, especially where we live, you know, we, it, it's, it's 365 days of the year we have sunscreen.